My talk is about using neutrino experiments as telescopes to make precision measurements of the sun's core. We know surprisingly little about the sun's core. Theoretical models, backed up by helioseismology, say that it should be about 20% of the solar radius. However, we have no direct image of the sun's core because the light produced there has to scatter through the outside of the sun. However, we know that neutrinos are produced in the core of the sun, so perhaps we could use them to image the core of the sun directly. Neutrinos are produced through the fusion of protons in the sun's core. The lowest energy neutrinos are produced through the direct fusion of protons. These are called PP neutrinos and tend to be produced towards the outside of the sun's core, based on our expectations from theory. The more energetic neutrinos, such as boron-8 neutrinos, are produced through more complicated interactions in the chain, and these should be produced towards the inside of the sun's core, based again on theoretical expectations. Once the neutrinos have been produced inside the sun's core, because they're weakly interacting, they then travel through the material of the sun itself towards Earth, with the directionality of these neutrinos bearing information on where they were produced inside the sun. In experiments like Super Kamekande, the neutrinos are detected through scattering of electrons. Understanding how the electrons travel through the water is crucial to reconstructing the neutrino directions and thereby imaging the sun's core. With enough statistics, I found that it's possible to actually image the sun's core with neutrinos. With 20 years worth of super candy data, we could show that neutrinos are actually produced within the core. So this is something that could be done right now. And with hyper in the future, this result will only improve.